Welcome brothers. Today we're going to be talking about social media. You know, social media is a great tool for some, and for others it's a terrible distraction. And many men who are in the Porn Reboot program find that social media keeps them trapped in this cycle of slips. Now if you aren't able to maintain a healthy relationship with social media, it may be time to take a step back for a little bit. I'm JK Maisie, founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach at Porn Reboot. We help business owners, professionals, entrepreneurs, leaders, and ambitious men end their out of control behavior with porn, sex, and masturbation discreetly within 90 days. You know, some of the things that I often see in our Reboot group are things like men saying like, you know what, I slipped on Twitter, or I found myself on Reddit and I slipped on Reddit while doing some research on something, or I watch a lot of YouTube and I slipped on YouTube, or oh my God, for some reason, I, I just can't stay off social media. I just keep slipping. Okay, so if you can't stay off social media and you continue slipping because of it, brother, I have a very hard pill for you to swallow. You're either a trial rebooter, you lack discipline, or you're lazy. There's no other way around it. If you won't remove the thing that's keeping you trapped in the cycle of your porn addiction, then you have a problem on your hands. A man who is fully committed to his reboot will recognize when things are more of a hindrance than a help, and they will let go of whatever gets in between them and their reboot success. They're willing to make complete lifestyle changes in order to avoid ever falling into that cycle of compulsive porn, sex, and masturbation again. Now, here's what social media does. Social media makes it easy to numb out and not think about what's going on in your life, right? So when you cut out pornography, you might find that you replace it with things like endlessly scrolling on Instagram or Facebook or some other social media platform. And whether you realize it or not, you're doing the same thing with social media that you did with porn, sex, and masturbation. Brother, you are running away from the pain. Now, the porn reboot system is simple, but it's not easy. It requires your complete willingness to give up your old thoughts, your beliefs, and your ideas so that you can replace them with new, healthier, and more helpful thinking patterns and habits. So. Scrolling through social media is another way of disconnecting from the world, especially if it's leading you to slip and view pornography and masturbate. Let me make it clear. In reality, no one needs social media, right? It hardly existed 20 years ago, but now it's become an expected part of engaging with others, and it can feel impossible to let go of. However, if it's getting in the way of your reboot, then it will be more than worth the effort to remove it for as long as is necessary. You know, some brothers who are part of the Porn Reboot Facebook group, they need the support that the group provides. We actually have a group on Facebook, I admit that. And I know that's the case for me. If it weren't for our group, I would never be on Facebook. But I consider it to be a necessary evil so that I can stay in contact with all the brothers who are looking for help. If you find that social media is problematic for you, Brother, it might be time to cut it out. If you're part of our Facebook group, there are a few steps that you can actually take to eliminate all distractions aside from the group itself. Or if there's another group that you're using for some sort of recovery work or to help you with some aspect of your reboot capital, one of them is install a browser plugin or extension that eliminates your Facebook feed. I have one that replaces my entire feed with a single positive quote. So look for it on Chrome. Every time I log in, all I see is a new quote. I don't see anything else. Nobody's updates. Next is schedule your Facebook use and limit it to once per day or twice if you ask for some support in the group and you need to check back on your post. Next is remove everything from your Facebook profile that does not bring value to your life. Practice deleting social media from your phone ever so often. Now, disconnecting from the need to feel constantly connected it's a great way to reframe your relationship with social media. On my days off, I delete all my social media. Gentlemen, ultimately, social media is a tool. Now, it's a tool that has grown into this incredible behemoth over the last two decades, but it's a tool nonetheless. If you choose to use it as such, you can receive great benefit from it. 
But if you allow that tool to control you and determine when you use it, it's far from helpful. If social media is too difficult or distracting, brother, it's best to take some time away from it. There is nothing wrong with taking a step back and trying again once your behavior is under control. Now, you may even find that what you gain from social media really isn't worth the trade-off when it comes to the freedom that you feel when you actually remove it. Brothers, ultimately, the best solution for you is the one that supports your successful reboot. So I highly recommend that you take some time to look at your social media use and reconsider it. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, whenever you're ready, there are a few ways that I can help you end your out of control behavior. The first way is to join our Facebook group. Yes, I know I just talked about social media, but if you are willing to install Chrome, if you're willing to use Facebook just for the group or groups that help you in your reboot, then you should consider joining it. There's a link to join our free group in the description below this video. The next way is to check out my free ebook. It's called Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men, and it's a breakdown of how some of my most successful clients, the steps they actually took to end their out of control behavior. You can also pick up a copy of our very affordable course called Rewire Your Desire. Now, when it comes to the porn reboot system, we work in three ways. We help you change your habits. After you change your habits, then we help you implement it as part of your regular lifestyle. And when you've done that long enough, you finally change your self-image. Rewire Your Desire shows you how to rewire your brain when it comes to the habits that are conducive to you rebooting. And it can give you results in as little as 30 days. There's a link to it in the description below this video as well. And finally, if you're ready to actually work directly with me or to work with coaches, men who have been through this process before, men who have seen this movie before, then go ahead and schedule a call with one of our Reboot Strategists to find out if you are a good fit for one of our coaching programs. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you later on in the week.